Mabuhai, Kamusta Keo, and welcome to another video. Yeah, I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas and New Year. So today I thought I'd share a complete collection update for January 2020. I did say in uh, my previous tour I'd probably start doing these a little more often, maybe every couple of months or so, and the uh, last one I did was back in November. So yeah, I thought I'd share another one with you all and show you how all the plants are getting on. Not too much has changed since last time, as it's January, the vast majority of them are in the winter rest period. So yeah, we'll start with the ones that were brought in from the greenhouse last year. These are all overwintering in the dining room on a south facing windowsill. So yeah, at the back there we got uh, my patchy podium. Lost all its leaves uh, last winter, but it's kept them all this time. And to the left of that is Euphorbia mammillarius variegata. That's put off a couple of new branches as well, that has. And there's uh, Ferrocactus glossessens, that's uh, Puntia microdaisies. This one's actually safe to touch as well. This is one they call angel wings. The glockids on this aren't as lethal as the other ones are. A couple of awesome looking stenocactus. Definitely do want to get some more of these as well. Probably will do later in the year. Nice big red spined Ferrocactus gracilis coloratus. And this is uh, Euphorbia anopla. You can see it's got quite a bit of new growth on it. This uh, has actually carried on growing a bit. So I am giving this a little bit of water, maybe once a month. Some Euphorbias do carry on growing throughout the autumn and winter time. A nice fluffy Oreocereus. I really do like the, the hair on this one. And this one is uh, Pelasgia. Then this one from my late father's collection, still unidentified. I think I said before I did nearly lose this uh, last year, but I gave it a repot and it's looking a lot better than it did. Lots of offsets on it. I hope it flowers this year. And a couple of unidentified ones. I think Carl from the Desert Plant Diary did give me a name, a possible name for these uh, a while back. I can't remember what he said. They might be. Again, Carl, if you're watching, let me know. Nice mammalaria that got uh, lovely purple blooms on it last year. I hope it does the same again this year. A golden barrel or a kind of cactus grusonii. Not going to try and pronounce the name on that label. I don't even know if that's what that is or not. So again, if any of these are mis ID'd, and please let me know. A nice big uh, neochilinia. This flowered last year as well. This is uh, Espostoanana, another fairy one. This is uh, Libivia. Could be Arachnocantha, but I'm not 100% sure on that. huge lethal ferrocactus horridus that my friend Phil sent to me. This is going to actually need a repot in the springtime because it's already outgrown this pot. This is a uh, Euphorbia anermis that has stretched out a little bit. For whatever reason this plant has never been happy since I've got it. I'll probably give that a repot in the spring as well. It's a uh, three-headed notocactus rosaletus. This is another one that uh, my friend Phil sent to me. I really hope this flowers uh, this year. Parodia magnifica. Again Phil got me this one. Got lots of offsets on it as well, this has. Rebusia Hoffmani. It's gorgeous orange blooms on it. This was one of the first to bloom last year. It bloomed in February, so I'm expecting this to get some more buds on it soon. The good thing about this one as well is it's uh, self-fertile. Another ferrocactus, uh, Imori. I think I say it's that, or Imori. Some uh, little offsets growing from uh, my dad's cactus. And I think the bottom left one is what they call a blue torch cactus. Mammalaria bombacina with its lethal fish hooks. <laughs> yeah, not one you want to your fingers or hands caught on. Then this one, this is another unidentified one. Pretty sure it's Mammalaria as well. Super slow grower, that one. And these tall ones, again, not sure what these are. Another tall one. I think this is Blue Torch as well. Some more, I'm not sure of the idea of these ones. And this one, the, the crazy mutated Apuntia. Yeah, 
this one is Ostro cylindropuntia subulata or eaves needle cactus. These ones I'm pretty sure are Pelasgia. A couple of uh, serious wildcrests. I did actually buy another couple of these uh, last year, towards the end of last year. Serious 4BC. These have actually grown quite a lot since I bought them. So they've grown an extra several inches since I purchased them a couple of years ago, I think. Another Apuntia Cristata. That one's done really well as well. Echinopsis subdenudata. This is another one that's uh, grown quite significantly since I bought it. Did actually nearly lose this one as well. It did when I repotted it last year. It did actually start leaking out this brown liquidy stuff, but uh, luckily it survived. It's another Mammalaria bombacina. It's Mammalaria leptocantha. Vivia arachnocantha, this flowered last year as well, got a nice uh, big yellow flower on it. Echinopsis rainbow burst, this was uh, one from Anna, Cactus Caffeine. Doing really well, it's grown quite a lot since she sent it to me. Mammalaria carmine, it did actually have some buds on it as well. Another one from Anna, Mammalaria boccasana. Again, this was another one that I nearly lost. It got what looked like rot on it, but uh, luckily it healed up. And also got a load of seeds off this one. I think I ended up with well over a thousand individual seeds from this plant. This is uh, Solca rebutia, Roshi. This is uh, another one from Anna, Notocactus schlosseri. Uh, Mammillaria harniana, again that uh, got a few buds on it last year. It's another Notocactus rosaleus. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one at the back here, that's um, another Pelasgia. Now a plant I don't think I've shown you before, this is my uh, mum's the quite old Crassula ovata, or jade plant, which I'm looking after. Probably should be a little bit bigger than this, but it's nearly died several times and it's had a, quite a few haircuts over the years as well. It's uh, aloe, or Arista aloe aristata on the left. Yeah, that was a small offset that came off my main aristata last year and that's grown significantly. Aloe brevifolia, that's doing really good as well. That'll get a repop this year as well though. Some more uh, jade cuttings. Aloe Vera plants. Just some more jades. These are all cuttings that came off my mum's big plant that you just saw. Some new growth on that one as well. Another nice Mammillaria that uh, that was another one that Phil sent to me last year. And this guy as well. Not 100% sure on the name of this one. Rebutia, this suffered a little bit of uh, spider mite damage, you can see those brown parts, but it's grown out of that nicely now. Another unknown Mammillaria, so again if you know the name of that one. This one I think is uh, another Libivia Ratnacantha. And this uh, unknown Gymno as well. I thought this was one was going to die, but uh, it's doing a lot better now. The Mammillaria bombacina that my mum picked up for me last year. Portulacara afra, variegata. Lots of new growth on that as well. Slumbergera had um, a white flower on it recently. Another aloe aristata. Got a um, couple of lemon trees that come up to about two years old now, grown from seed. Keeping these lightly watered throughout the winter as well. 
we've got these not so nice sprayed cacti I hate it when they do this but uh, they're grown out of that nicely now uh, Solco Rebutia Roshi and some more Echinopsis Rainbow Burst these are from Anna as well doing really good and uh, Chamelabivia Rose Quartz I really hope this flowers this year that's actually grown a lot since you sent it to me yeah doing really well a little uh, Solcoribusha with a name I can never pronounce. Very slow grower that one. And then we've got a load more Arista Allo Aristata pups growing. A little um, Echinopsis Oxygona. And this is another unknown, this came from Phil as well. So again if you know what it might be let me know in the comments. Warthia Tenua Enon. Lots of pups on that one as well. So, uh, Allo Brumii. Quite lethal thorns on that one. And some more jays. These came from Phil as well. This is uh, Crassula Vara Minima in ones. And that's uh, some little sedum cuttings. I'm probably going to put those outside as well. They don't really do very well indoors, I don't think. The Sulca Rebusia Oshii pup, or two. And some uh, Puntia Bulgaris. It's an awesome looking uh, cloister cactus. It's getting loads of new tails on it. Really cool looking cactus. Love these ones. Another Serious Wildcrest. This was uh, in a recent pickup video that I did. A nice uh, multi headed clump of Mammalaria honeyana. Still undecided if I'm going to keep these together or not. I probably will. And uh, not so good looking Sansevieria cylindrica. Alright, now we come on to the next area. I'm probably going to do this video in two parts, otherwise, that's just going to drag on for too long otherwise. So, yeah, at the back there we've got my uh, Allohumulus. That was ravaged by beasties last year growing lots of new roots now and putting out some new growth as well so that's awesome it's a Forcaria Crassula muscosa or the watch chain plant my Gymno Bordion that was another one that got ravaged by beasties I had to cut the roots off that hello Christmas Carol Helianthoserius some nice astros here Quadrica Statum The one with a funny name, Turbinacarpus clinkerianus I don't know why that always makes me laugh <laughs> It's um, Corypantha It's uh, Euphorbia platyclada Put out um, some tiny flowers as well recently Euphorbia meliformis. Mopophora williamsi. This is um, featured in a recent video that my partner Edith did for me. Nice Mammalaria plumosa. And Puntia rufida minima. Lethal glockids on that. Really awesome Gymnocalisium Fredericii. Baldianum. Nice Rebusia Pygmaea. Lots of offsets on that one. Ubermania Pectinifera. This is uh, doing some root growing at the moment as well. Terracactus tuberosus. An awesome looking Gymno. These are from the Cactus Shed. Sets that I took off my Echinopsis, Oxygona, doing really good. I've just got a little Stapelia cutting in there. 
and some more root cuttings of uh, Terracactus tuberosus. Forbia platygonum. Some uh, Astrophyte mysterious. Cinecrassula. Really slow grower that one is. One of my favourite astros there. Super Gavoto V type. Forbia visa. Another one of my favourites, Obregonia denegrii. Tephracactus articulatus, which is now just starting to get a little bit more growth on it, hasn't done anything for a long time. Some uh, Astrophytum hybrid, another slow grower there, Areocarpus. Another cool looking Super Kabuto. Uh, variegated Jade that uh, Phil sent to me as well. That's got lots of new little leaves on it. And some more from the Cactus Shed here. Yeah, really happy with all these ones from the cactus shed. They're doing really well. Nice turban of carpus. I'm gonna get some more of these this year as well. I really do like these. Another awesome looking astrophytum. Love the spines on that one. Another cool um, turban of carpus. Kinocerius. Australia Shalinskiana. Got some seeds from that to sow this year as well. Here's some more from the cactus shed. Astrophytum hybrid. Got some seeds out of that one as well. Some lethal looking Canthocalyceums. That one's not as lethal as it looks though. They're quite uh, flexible spines on that one. That's lethal though. Do you know? <laughs> Looking uh, fellow cactus and then those are rhodocanthus. Absolutely love the spines on that one. It's um, Copiapoa hypogea. Another Copiapoa there, Magnifica. Again, as you all know, Copiapoa is my favourite genus. Of um, Noah Cactus Ubal Manianus. Doing well, those ones. Gymnocalisium Raganesi. Gymnocalisium Qualianum. And the Canthocalisium. Nice copia power there, that one. And some awesome looking fellow cactus, again another one of my favourites, these ones. The awesome flowers on, I hope they do flower this year. That's probably one of my favourite fellow cactus, that one. And another fellow cactus. Neopatera, again another one of my favourite genus. The ethyl spines on these ones as well there. Neopateria. Copiapoa there as well. And then that's Parodia, that one. And another copia boa. And this nice big awesome looking Gymnocalisium saglionis. Awesome looking spines on that one. Some more jade cuttings here, these came from Phil as well. These seedlings came from Phil. Doing really well these are. Again, been given several IDs on these, but not 100% sure what they are. Uh, Rebusha Heliosa, probably my favourite Rebusha. Awesome Kino Serious. Back there we've got um, 
Got that Echinopsis subdenudata, bloomed several times last year. Got the Gymno Baldianum, nice Stapelia here, getting some nice uh, purple stress colours in it now as well. And some more Rebuchas here, lots of offsets on these. It's a Heliosa hybrid. Really cool Rebucha that one, Albaflora. And this one's actually got some buds on it as well, this Rebucha, but uh, even though it's in bud, I'm not going to give this any water at all. It really shouldn't have buds on it in January. Yeah, there's three buds there, there's another one on the other side of it as well. That's a Euphorbia hybrid. Rebisa exclubosa. Uh, another one Phil got for me, Ferrocactus latspinus. It's Maticana palsy. Again, puppy machine, that one. Another Sarkorobusha Rorsha, oh, that's the gold, uh, gold spined variety. There's Corypantha. Again, that's covered in pups, that one is. The Antocantho Calisseum. And another one, these will get repotted in the springtime. A bit big for their pots, these ones. Another awesome looking steno cactus. So, yeah, that's this uh, section done. Like I said, this will be in two parts because otherwise the video is going to go on for way too long. Yeah, I think we've already gone over 20 minutes, so well done if you made it this far. See, so, yeah, I'll see you in uh, part two, which will be uploaded in the uh, next couple of days. So, thank you all for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Salamat po pa alam. Bye for now.